Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth and today you're going to be learning uh, what you should pack in your breast pump bag. Primarily for you working moms, but this is just you know, your essential uh, breast pump bag uh, must-haves. So let's dive in and take a look. So today, the breast pump bag that I am going to be using uh, for this demonstration is the Sarah Wells Lizzie in the new print Berry Bloom. So this is what that beautiful bag looks like. Rose gold accents here. Really pretty. I always get a lot of compliments when I take this out in public. I'm actually currently using it as a diaper bag, um, so it's multifunctional, multi-purpose. So when you're done pumping, like me, <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and transition it really easily into uh, a diaper bag. All right, are you ready to see what's inside? Here we go, nice big pocket. Yes. There's a lot in there and there's still room for more, which is crazy. And it's actually not like crazy heavy either. It looks huge on camera, but you know, it's just a pretty standard size bag. Okay, so inside. All right, this little side compartment here. Let's see if I can show you better. Tons of compartments. Okay, so in your little side compartments here, I have a manual breast pump. Super important to have a manual breast pump with you, um, just in case, you know, your electric pump poops out at you and you're at work and yeah, you definitely don't want to go that many hours without expressing breast milk and especially you don't want to have to hand express because that could take forever and if you're on the clock you kind of want it to go fast so always have a, a manual breast pump because they always work no matter what along with that you want to have spare breast milk storage bags um, i also have a hack for these um, if you're at work and you forget your bottle to pump into, you can use a handy dandy hair tie, grab one of these or even any plastic baggie, and go ahead and attach it with the hair band around the top of the flange here. And you're good to go. You can pump right into that. Okay, so also spare parts, little duckbill valves. Uh, it would be horrible to not have these because obviously the pump is not functional without this. Um, so I like just these little silicone ones. They're super easy. Just one piece and pop them on and clean them really easy. Okay, next up is this is the pump that I prefer to pump portably with. So this is the Baby Buddha. This is how nice and small it is and compact. Let me tell you, this thing is little, but it is a powerhouse. Like this pump can outperform most hospital grade pumps. Um, and it's, I mean, it's just tiny, compact, so you can take it anywhere. And then what I did is I hooked it up to a Moxley Flow um, pumping kit here. I like this because you can just kind of like pop it under your bra so it's more discreet, um, which is really nice for at work. But unfortunately, Moxley is no longer making these. So if you didn't get yours while they were still around, um, you could use Freemie Collection Cups, another great option for work because again, uh, they're discreet. You can just pop them under your shirt and I don't know, maybe if you're brave enough, you could pump right at your desk. <laughs> so there's that. And so I do recommend if you're gonna bring a kit like this to work with you, just have it all ready to go. Already assembled, everything on together and bring it with you like that. 
That way there's less of a chance that you're gonna forget something. Or you could just leave this kit just right at work. Just leave it there. Don't even worry about bringing it back and forth every day. Okay, so yes, you can also fit your laptop in this Sarah Wells Lizzie bag. Awesome. I mean, so this is a MacBook Pro. Um, most people have one of these, standard size kind of uh, laptop. So that's good to know. You can take that with you. Since I work at home, I've always got my laptop with me. Okay, I believe that's it for this compartment. So, um, some other things I didn't have on hand that I would also suggest that you put in your um, pump bag is some Medela Clean Wipes. That way you can wipe down your uh, pump parts in between and also Ziploc bags because if you're pumping more than once at work, you can just place those used pump parts in a Ziploc bag. Don't wash them or anything. You can use the Medela Quick Clean wipes if you want to. Um, you just don't want to introduce any bacteria. So put those in the fridge and then use them one more time while you pump at work. But you can only do this once. You don't want to keep re reusing it. You only want to do it the one time. Um, but that way, you know, it's quick and easy. Just then you can just clean up once at the end of the day if you um, only um, have to pump twice at work. Uh, oh, also bring some like hand sanitizer so you can do that or some soap or like a uh, also a bottle brush. Um, bring that too or hopefully you can just kind of leave that stuff at work. That would make it easier. Okay. So we have the front pocket here. I'm telling you so much storage. Actually, this is the back pocket. Back front pocket. Okay. So in there, I just put a pumping bra. And, you know, let's coordinate. <laughs> this is the Sarah Wells uh, Berry Bloom Pump Ease Pump Bra. So pretty. But you pretty standard pump bra. Just has your little slits there. Uh, everyone loves the Simple Wishes. That's another great option. I also have that one. So, but if, again, if you're using uh, like the Freemies or the Moxley, you can wear any bra almost with those. So as long as there's enough room, like, you know, a sports bra, whatever you feel comfortable. And that way you don't have to worry about wearing your pumping bra at work all day or putting it on and off. Cause that's kind of a pain. And it just takes a lot of extra time and you know, you just might not have that. So, that's something to consider. Okay, let's flip her around. Check out what I have inside the front pocket here. Okay, so in this very front pocket, I'm telling you there's so much like organizational <laughs> options in here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like smaller little things. So you could even put like your wallet and cards and that kind of stuff too. So in the front, I put a pump, pumperoo, and I'll let you guys check out what this is. So basically what it is, is it's like a staging mat for your pumping things. So it comes with this little piece here and it snaps on and off. So basically what you would do is you would lay this down on your desk or wherever you're pumping and you would lay your clean parts out on this and assemble them if you need to and just keep them on there. That way you're not like putting your sanitized pump parts all over like a dirty pumping station. You just have this so you're good to go and you don't have to worry. And then inside of here is where you can put your pump parts. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's lined. And then there's an extra little compartment in the front. So yeah, it's just like a, a sanitary, like, uh, little travel bag for all your pump parts. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pumperoo by Sarah. Sarah Wells in the same berry bloom pattern. So we continue the coordination. Very important. Okay, so in your side pockets here. All right, so we have our Spectra breast pump in there. So you can see it's very roomy. 
lots of space in there and I do want you to note that the pump should go on the right side because that is the deeper side. So, so I have lots of room in there. It's perfect. I mean, it doesn't require any manipulating to get it in there. It just pops right in. Super easy. You can put a Medela in there, whatever big pump you want to use. Then on this other side pocket, very important, a little cold gold cooler to keep your breast milk. These are super cute, super handy. There you go, ice pack, keep your breast milk in there. Um, hopefully at work you have a fridge somewhere to keep the breast milk during the day. Um, if not, I guess you can, you know, bring your ice packs, keep it really nice and cold, but this is great transport back home with your pumped breast milk for the day. Um, uh, I think that's it guys. So that was it. That was what's in my pump bag and yeah, so now you have a better feel for, uh, a beautiful Sarah Wells pump bag and Lizzie and Barry Bloom. Uh, best breast pump bags of 2019 and I'll just continue to update it every year but there's tons of uh, different options on there best value um, best overall best for travel best backpack pump bag I mean there's just everything so if you're in the market and you want to get a pump bag uh, go there for your resource to figure out which one to get and I will link most everything that you saw in this video in the description box below. Don't forget to visit loverlittles.com. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye.